All right, so here we go with the ocean ecology walkthrough. So uh, first off, there are some things um, on YouTube uh, to help you out. I included it as part of the assignment. So there's a there's a playlist. Uh, these two you can find on Quizlet. Uh, this one's another Quizlet slash notes thing. Um, these two, if you want to figure out how energy transfers from one level to the next, that's that one where I set up a bar like this. It's like that zero, one, two, three on the board. Um, that's how you figure these out. You just got to make sure that you're counting in the right direction. So, you know, if this is uh, 20 calories, that means that originally there was 200 calories. That means that second level would get two calories and it just keeps getting smaller. So what some people don't realize is that once the two shows up, the decimal is here. So it's really like 2.0. So that means that this becomes 0. 0.2 like that. So some people have a little bit of trouble with uh, the decimal stuff. Uh, moving on over to this side. So over here I'm talking about um, is it an herbivore, carnivore, omnivore? Now here's where some people had some trouble right here. This answer, so don't put producers, okay? Because this, the answer for 9 and 11 is related, okay? It's related to these right here. So the answer needs to be herbivore, carnivore, or omnivore. Now, one of these is going to have two answers. Um, and I need to know the because part. Um, best way to do it is to draw a food web. Okay. So just say you have a producer. I think where some people are running into problems is they're thinking just one direction. So producer gets eaten by some sort of animal right and then that can get eaten by another animal um, but here's what people are forgetting is that there are some animals that can eat both they can eat producers and they could eat other animals so the question becomes, the, the real question is, is this, this omnivore, can it be a first level? And remember, for food webs, we always count the highest possible level. Um, if you're having trouble understanding that, we'll, we'll try to clear it up tomorrow in class. All right, um, this one, just make sure you know the difference between, you know, the 10 and the 90. Why is energy lost? There are four reasons, one, two, three, four. It's inside the notes and it's also inside a Quizlet. Uh, moving on over to 21, what are the two ways we calculate population size? Uh, which one uses it when it's sm like microscopic or doesn't move? And which one uses it for medium to larger size organisms? Make sure you know the variables. So what is big A? What is little a? What is little n? Um, what happens if big A is larger than it should be? What happens if little a is smaller than it should be? And don't memorize this because I could also ask you what happens if little a is smaller. So the best way to do this, so if you get stuck and you don't know, okay, is to plug it into an equation. So like if it's supposed to be, you know, 2 over 1 times 2, okay, what happens if it's larger? So what happens if big A, because big A goes on top. So what happens if it's larger? What happens if it was like 4 over 1 times 2? So if you run into trouble, but you can't do too much of this. You can't play around with numbers the entire test because you'll run out of time. Um, but if it's like that one problem you're having issues with, just plug in a fake number and see what happens. Uh, let's see what next. Uh, so that takes care of, so a lot of this is just variable stuff. So what are the variables? Use your notebook or use Quizlet. Yes, I know you can copy and paste off of Quizlet, but make sure you know them because I'm going to ask you during the test. Uh, 34, uh, I'm trying to find over 30, where's 33, I don't know where 34 went. Somewhere around here. Uh, anyways, let me work on this branch right here. Um. 13. So complex diagram, that's a food web. Uh, what's at the base? So you can use multiple answers here. So you could say something like um, an autotroph would work. Okay, so autotrophs, people, things that make their own food. Uh, producers. 
uh, zero level consumers. All those work. Okay. Um, they produce what for the system? So they produce energy for the system. What's the or glucose? But what's the chemical formula for glucose? You can look that up online or on Quizlet. Um, and how do they generate glucose? Okay. How do they generate glucose? For here, uh, these include seaweeds and a specific type of plankton. Also inside the notes. Uh, so I don't want to give you too many of these. All right. Uh, a lot of these are equation type deals here. So for this one, you're using random sampling. So this is big A over little a times n. Remember, don't think, okay, first one, top one, second one, but like don't, because sometimes I write them on purpose out of order. So it's more important for you to understand what is big A. If you're just plugging because it's the first number you see, chances are you're going to get one of the questions wrong on the test. So please pay attention to that. Now for this one, listen, I remember one of the videos and a lot of you put this, you need five to 10%. That's fine. Okay. But what I was asking is specifically for our class, I said this in the notes for our class, we're going to use at least this many squares. And then in order for you to avoid bias in random sampling, we did this with the gum lab. Okay, we did this with the flowers. What do you need to do? Because again, you should not be picking squares. So how do you avoid that bias? Um, over here, this is mark and recapture. So again, more important than anything else, understand what the variables are. So this is big M over little m times n, like that. Um, explain if the first level could be a carnivore in a food web. This is just like the question from over here. Okay, so it's it's very similar um, to that question. Uh, next up is another market recapture question. Again, can a second level be an herbivore? Be able to explain that. Uh, this one is a good one right here because I'm going to ask you, this is the liquid version of random sampling. So instead of squares, we're working with liquids. So it's like you have a thousand squares, but you're sampling five mLs. Um, this is the other one where you're going to have teammates. So you're probably going to see that on the test. So, you know, if you had, I don't know, uh, five uh, samples or like five teammates samples, uh, at, and each sample was two mLs, well, how many squares did you sample? Well, five and each of you did two. So that's a total of 10. Um, this one's just another calorie conversion one. So the one where I draw the little grid. So the zero, one, two, three. Okay. So like this one's saying the producer created 30,000. Oops. 30,000. Uh, each time it shrinks down by 10%, how much will the third level get? Uh, finally, these are just looking at uh, simple food webs. And counting the highest level. So, you know, if I said the Jaguar, you're going to have to check this path, 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 this path. This. Basically, you have to check all of them. So just pay close attention. Like a maze, you're trying to find the highest possible level. Uh, and same thing with this one. Right here, you're trying to find the highest possible level. This is probably going to be maybe the longest thing that I give you on the test. Uh, I wouldn't give you one of those crazy ones because you, you still have to do it within a certain amount of time. So uh, hopefully this helps you finish the, the study guide.